Hey everybody, it's Tammy Van Hollander, and I am so thrilled to have Liana Lowenstein here, who is very famous internationally in the play therapy community. Liana Lowenstein is a social worker and a certified play therapy supervisor. I have been using your books for years, your resources for years, and at the end, we will talk about all the amazing resources that you are offering during this time and need that I'm so appreciative of. But I'm super excited because today we're gonna to be doing a teddy bear picnic. Yes. So Liana, tell us a little bit about this. Okay, well, I, I wanna just first just thank you for all that you're doing to provide valuable resources to uh, child and family therapists all over the world. Um, it's a huge commitment that you've made uh, posting these YouTube videos. So thank you, Tammy, for all that you're doing and for inviting me uh, to share. Um, these are tough times for all of us. And um, as child and family therapists, we are all struggling, of course, with how do we continue to support our clients? Um, and I, so I do have a, a technique to share with everyone today. Um, but before I talk about the technique, I just really want to emphasize that these techniques are not the therapy. They are tools to facilitate the therapeutic process. And so we don't want to lose sight of how we use ourself um, and the processing that is so important. So how we engage our clients, how we convey warmth, playfulness, reflect feelings, um, reflect, uh, you know, body language, uh, facial expressions, um, uh, validate what the child is going through. All of those clinical skills are so, so important. Um, so I want to share a technique, a technique, um, and at the end, I'm also going to share how we can adapt this intervention to use with older kids. So, so take, stay tuned till the end. Um, it is important to uh, plan ahead with the caregiver. Uh, so to decide, oh, you're, you're all ready. You've got your little right. stuffy there, <laughs> awesome. You're all set. You're looking very excited. Mm -hmm. um, so important to first plan this out with the caregiver, uh, talk about well, who's going to attend the session, uh, just the, the, the child or the child with their caregiver, or you can also make this a family play session. Um, I, and you also want to talk with the caregiver about what materials might be needed. So asking, you know, does the child have a teddy bear? Because if not, I have variations to talk about. Um, are they going to provide snacks for the teddy bear picnic? Um, what materials uh, might they have available um, for the um, therapeutic intervention that's part of this, uh, this technique? Um, I like to then send out either by mail or email an invitation to the child and their teddy bear, uh, which of course is one way to um, engage this child in the intervention. And then of course, when we actually start um, the session, uh, I like to have the child uh, introduce me to their teddy bear, their stuffy, or whatever they have brought uh, to the, the session. So, uh, Tammy, would you like to introduce me to your special friend? So, this is my special bunny who is super duper soft. And even when I need to take even a little nap at work and lay down, I hold on to my bunny and I do a lot with when they will talk about the kinesthetic storytelling and that I teach kids on this bunny's back. But this bunny has been a big support for me and has helped me and a lot of kids in the playroom. So this is my bunny who's happy to be here today. I couldn't believe I didn't have a, a teddy bear in my playroom, but I do have my special bunny. Yeah, you don't have to have a teddy bear to, uh, to w be joined with our, uh, our activity today. So welcome, Tammy, and welcome, Bunny. Um, and then, of course, I would, um, once we've introduced um, ourselves, and this is my special uh, bear that I have brought today for our teddy bear picnic. Um, and teddy bear is welcoming not just other bears to our picnic, but other special friends like Bunny. Um, we would then do, of course, the, the teddy bear march. And I have um, my little portable speaker, and I have the song um, that's available on YouTube, um, or you can download it. And then we would then play the, the song, and I would have um, that the child, both of us, me and the child, would stand up and we would march in place as I play the song. We're not going to stand up now, you and I, but I would just, just play a little bit of it. So 
croissant. Um, and then we could have uh, some teddy bear snacks, um, treats, um, and then we could even do um, a craft. And again, it doesn't have to be a teddy bear, um, but the child can decorate a teddy bear. I would send this ahead of time. The child could cut it out. So we would do a little craft. Um, and then I would talk with the child about and talking to their bear or their stuffy. So, you know, how does bear feel? How does bunny feel? Does the bear or the bunny feel happy, sad, lonely? Um, you know, we process some feelings. Um, and then we would create a safe place for Teddy or a safe place for Bunny or whatever the child has brought. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the child can use uh, craft items to create their safe place or um, just other items around the house. Uh, it could even be like a shoe box and uh, a tissue and, you know, other, other items. And if they don't have a lot of that kind of stuff, they can also just draw a picture of their, of their safe place. So it doesn't have to be a whole big craft activity. What's important is for them to think about a safe place uh, for their teddy or their bunny or their stuffy or whatever they're using. Um, and then, um, and also um, if it's, um, if they're not bringing a teddy bear, if they're bringing, let's say it's, it's um, I'm inviting the child to a superhero party mm -hmm. or to uh, a, a child who's coming to a princess party, we can both dress up uh, in our favorite princess costume or uh, put on a cape and be superheroes. So they're creating, drawing a picture of safe place for teddy or safe place for princess or safe place for their superhero, whatever it is. Um, and then um, it is, of course, important to, to process uh, their, their safe place. So um, you want to ask questions like, um, what did you include in the safe place? What is important in the safe place that helps keep Teddy or Bunny uh, safe? Um, you might ask, what rules are important in this safe place? Um, uh, to, in, what rules are important to help keep this a safe place? Um, and so first you want to process in terms of talking about the bear or the bunny safe place. And then you want to, of course, relate it to the child. What helps keep you safe? Um, what can mom and dad do to help you feel safe? And if the caregiver is a part of this session, you could ask the caregiver, um, you know, mom, dad, uh, grandma, whoever is the primary caregiver, um, what do you think your child needs from you to feel more safe? Um, so the processing of the intervention, of course, is so important and asking lots of um, open-ended exploratory questions um, to really help the child talk about their feelings and to really delve into feelings of, of safety, which are so important, especially, especially now. Uh, so as I mentioned before, some variations are, it doesn't have to be a teddy bear. Um, I had one boy uh, who's really into the whole, you know, Marvel uh, stuff and his, his superheroes uh, come dressed up in his favorite Marvel costume and he brought his his uh, superhero uh, figurines and his uh, the safe place that he created was a planet um, and he created a new planet um, that didn't have any coronavirus um, mm -hmm. so I thought that, that was really very interesting so that is the technique I love that. And I, you know, all your techniques and in general, when we hear techniques, my mind is just going with so many other ideas to, to add on to that. You know, I have so many kids who love to do forts and even making them, whether it's in my office or in their home and doing a fort with it, you know, you made me think of the idea of princesses and the kids have been showing me all their princess dresses. So to actually come in costume for teleplay therapy sessions. And just the other one that I thought of not, you know, just in terms of the great mystics and I've talked about people making it of the teddy bear giving great mystics to the child and the child giving great mystics to the, um, their stuffed animals. So I know these are your interventions, but they just, they just, I think it makes your wheels go and the, like all these interventions, right? You take all these pieces of it and you make them your own in really creative ways. So it's just giving me so many wonderful ideas and I'm very excited about it. And we really do want to encourage creativity. So take this intervention and adapt it. Um, whatever you think is going to be engaging for the client that you are using this with. 
um, to really help them uh, be excited about it, but also be able to talk about some of those really, um, really deep feelings that they're experiencing right now. Yeah. And you were mentioning how this could also be adapted for older kids. Um, yeah. So I think that um, just whatever, just, you know, they could draw a picture of themselves in a safe place. And then you could ask those same questions. Um, or they can think of uh, maybe um, a celebrity. Um, and if they were to create a safe place for their favorite celebrity, uh, tell me about that safe place and what would be in that safe place and what do you think would help that person feel safe? So. Right. Great. Diana, that is so helpful and it's such a great intervention and I'm definitely going to be using it. And I also love the creativity of actually doing an invitation. I also would love the idea of a kid making one too and yes. doing an arts and crafts to be able to kind of pretend to give it to me and to make it for everybody in the family. So I think it's just kind of giving them some extra fun work of the excitement of yeah. decorating for it. Uh, so thank you, Liana, and I so appreciate you taking your time. And I just want to spend a little bit of time in terms of all of the wonderful resources that you are offering regarding some discounts on your books and some teleplay therapy stuff. So could you give, take a couple minutes in terms of telling us about some of the resources that you're offering to us? So first, um, I really try to make my website a hub of free resources. So uh, there is, so my website is my name, so lianalonestein.com. And um, there is a free ebook of assessment and treatment activities. Many of the activities in the free ebook can be easily adapted to online therapy with children and families. Um, there is an article section for mental health professionals with all kinds of uh, articles on cutting edge topics. And I recently posted an article on um, tele play therapy activities to engage children. And at the end of that article, there's a whole resource list on uh, teletherapy. Um, there's an, also an article section for parents, uh, so they can refer their uh, the parents that they're working with to that section on my website. And I am offering um, discounts as always, uh, not just now, but always um, uh, on my books. So you need uh, the discount code, which is PC14. So P, the letter P as in Peter, C as in Charlie, and then the number 14. Um, and they can get 20% off my books. And, uh, and then they get an extra 10% off if they buy four or more books. Uh, but you know, these are tough times and a lot of people can't afford to purchase books. Uh, and so that's why I really um, like to offer a lot of free stuff and also for people who are into the social media uh, my Pinterest page has lots of um, great ideas um, and you are such a resource so uh, and the Facebook page that we're involved with is you know every day posting so many amazing ideas uh, by therapists all over the world Right. Okay. Liana, thank you so much for taking the time to introduce this great technique and to share your resources. We are so appreciative of all the work that you do. You're welcome. And thank you, Tammy, and all the best to all of people who are watching all over the world uh, this video. Take Aww, care. Thank you, Liana.